for put by his divine grace human society is actually meant for realization of perfection in krishna consciousness there is no restriction against living with a wife and children but life should be so conducted that one may not go against the principle of religion economic development regulated sense enjoyment and ultimately liberation from material existence the vedic principles are designed in such a way that the conditioned souls who have come to this material existence may be guided in fulfilling their material desires and at the same time be liberated and go back to godhead back home it is understood that emperor swayambhumano enjoy his household life by following these principles it is stated here that early in the morning there are musicians who used to sing with musical instruments about the glories of the lord and the emperor with his family personally used to hear about the past times of the supreme person this custom is still prevalent in india in some of the royal families and temples <clears throat> professional musicians sing with sahanais and the sleeping members of the house gradually get up from their beds in a pleasing atmosphere during bedtime also the singer sings songs in relationship with the past time of lord with sahanai accompaniment and the householders gradually fall asleep remembering the glories of the lord in every house in addition to the singing program there is an arrangement for bhagavatam lectures in the evening family members sit down hold hari krishna kirtan here hear narrations from shrimad bhagavatam and bhagavad gita and enjoy music before going to bed the atmosphere created by the sankirtan movement lives in their hearts and while sleeping they also dream of the singing and glorification of the lord in such a way perfection of krishna consciousness can be attained this practice is very old as learned from the verse of shrimad bhagavatam millions of years ago swayambhu manu used to avail himself for of this opportunity to live household life in the peace and prosperity of the krishna conscious atmosphere as far as temples are concerned in each and every royal palace or rich man's house inevitably there is a nice temple and the members of the household rise early in the morning and go to the temple to see the mangalarti ceremony the mangalarti ceremony is the first worship of the morning in the arti ceremony a light is offered in circle to put the deities as are a conchal and flowers and a fan the lord is supposed to rise early in the morning and take some light refreshment and give audience to the devotees the devotees then go back to the house or sing the glories of the lord in the temple the early morning ceremony still takes place in indian temples and palaces temples are meant for the assembly of the general public temples within palaces are especially for the royal families but in many of these palaces temples the public is also allowed to visit the temple of the king of jaipur is situated within the palace but the public is allowed to assemble if one goes there he will see that the temple is always crowded with at least 500 devotees after the mangalarti ceremony they sit down together and sing the glories of the lord with musical instruments and thus enjoy life temple worship by the royal family is also mentioned in bhagavad gita where it is stated that those who fail to achieve success in the bhakti yoga principles within one life are given a chance to take birth in the next life in a family of rich men or in a royal family or family of learned brahmanas or devotees if one gets the opportunity to take birth in this family he can achieve the facilities of the krishna conscious atmosphere without difficulty a child born in that krishna atmosphere is here to develop krishna consciousness the perfection of which he fell to attain in the last life is again offered in this life and he can make himself a perfect without fail om agyana timirandhasya gyananjana salakaya chakkur murtam yena dasme sri gurave nama श्री चैतन्य मनोभीष्ट स्थापित मेना भूतले स्वयं रूप कदम तदती स पदातीक वंदेहम श्रीयुत श्रीयुत कटकम 
श्रीरूपम सगृजात सहगण सहगण रघुनाद्वित सजीव साधुत साबोधूत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्य देव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पाद सहगण ललिता श्रीविशाखावित हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधु जगतपते गोपेशो गोपिकांत राधा कांत नमस्ते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी विषभानो सुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय कृपा सिंधु वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नमो जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव साधी गोर भक्त बृंद नीलाचल निवासाय नित्याय परमात्मने बड़भद्र सुभद्रा जगन्नाथाय ते नम हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्ण डिओटी Thank you for joining today for the Srimad Bhagavatam class. The early morning is very auspicious, and we see in this particular verse how Swayam Bhumanu and with his with his Queen Satarupa is uh, is enjoying the gross life, and side by side they're very very Krishna conscious. They're very and twenty four hours and seven days a week they're focused in the spiritual activities. And here Rupa is mentioning the importance of waking up early in the morning with the sound vibration of the harinam and while going to bed also with the sound vibration of harinam with the nice musical instruments and glorifying about the lord and his past time so my knowledge in this beautiful subject matter is very limited but however with all the blessings i would like to glorify this beautiful subject matter for my own purification here we see that Prabhupada is stressing that human society is actually meant for realization of perfection in Krishna consciousness. So our this human society is based on you know like four things. Like we say that dharma, artha, kamo, and moksha. There are the four four important aspects of any of human society. And we all are entitled, or or it is recommended for us that we have to all. Take care of all these four aspects: dharma, artha, kamo, and moksha. But there are certain rules are there. The rules have to be followed. Like anything we do in this world, there are certain rules are there. If you are walking on the street, also there are rules are there. If you are going to a restaurant, also the restaurant also they have own codes and conducts. How you sit down, how you eat. So they say they are based on the sthana, kala, and patra. Basically, circumstances, then the time, and then the candidate. There are rules are different. Like. There are certain rules for the demigods, certain rules for the animals, certain rules for the pillars, and certain rules for we, the human beings. Now here we are discussing about the emperor. Like Prabhupad here, he is categorically used the word emperor. He could have used the word king. Like we are generally we see the king of Jaipur, king of Puri, or some, like no or uh, or Janakra, something like that. We we refer, refer. But here Prabhupad is stressing about the word does emperor, basically. Uh, Maharaj, basically, Maharaj Manu, the Emperor Manu, he was the first of the mankind. Like we all are basically called as Manav Sabdata or, or or human beings or, man, or Manav, basically after the name of Manu. The first Manu uh, was Swayam Manu. He uh, uh, actually uh, Brahma created him. From him, we all are created. So he basically our you know like great 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 grandfather kind of thing we can say. So basically, Swayam Manu. Um, Was the emperor, and uh, currently we have this. We have also a Manu. Like each each era or each yuga, there will be Manus will be there. So now we have Vigoshit Manu. Like Swayambhu Manu time basically, he uh, he he basically had a uh, code of conduct. Like all our entire mana badharma sastra or the basically is based on the laws of the Manu, which is called the Manus Purti. So here the Prabhupada is saying whatever what uh, actions Maharaj Manu was taking. Maharaj Manu basically he married to Satarupa, and they have an ideal gross the life. So we have left like uh, we see that we have four ashramas are there. The four like one of them is uh, Brahmacharya ashram, then there is gross the ashram, then there is Banakrista ashram, then there is Sannyas ashram are there. Similarly, there are four Varna are there: Brahmana, Bhaisya, Khatriya, and Sudra. So we see that our entire uh, human society is based on. All this, you know, four Varna Ashram system based on our scriptures. Now, all these ashrams, wherever ashram of one stays, the goal of the ashram is to guide us how to become Krishna conscious. 
like if we are st staying in a family our goal the family basically the, the goal is that together how should they should conduct so that they will become krishna conscious what is the necessity of becoming krishna conscious because you are keeping krishna in the center and he is basically center of attraction whatever any work we do nobody is saying that being in an ashram you are not doing the ashram is required work when we are in a grihastha ashram we should do what are required to do for us like if his father is there he has to go to do the work and get money and the mother will get up early in the morning and cook and the child you know likes to if the students they are going to study if there is a son is there he is going to take care of the father like everything whatever necessity they have to do but side by side there are some rules are there based on the rules the, all these necessities have to be fulfilled these necessities are at the body level to maintain our body for this for this material body like you know, we have this material body and then we have a we have a spiritual this atma is there right for maintenance of the body whatever necessities we have to follow the rules so those rules are meant uh, like we say that you know india is a secular country so certain rules are there so uh, those rules are meant uh, for maintaining our dharma artha kama mukhya for this you know it is it is there like how to walk and all, all those things are there but when we are coming to this world this material world because we have certain desires if the desires not fulfilled will come will come here again and again but the basically the the if we see that we are basically part and parcel of supreme personality of god hai in chaitanya charita mein to we say that jibera swarupa krishna ra nitya das basically we are eternal servant of krishna our goal is how to satisfy krishna so how to satisfy krishna when you are servant right a servant will be always thinking 24 hours how i should satisfy krishna so here maharaj here emperor uh, emperor manu he is showcasing how to satisfy krishna 24 hours in bhagavad gita there is a beautiful verse in chapter 3 and verse 21 that jajat achate shrestha tatva eva tar janah sayyat pramanam kurute loka tat anuvartate loka like the two things here is very important that is yad achate shrestha and next one is loka tat anuvartate basically whatever action a great man performs a common man follow and whatever standards he sets by example acts all the world pursues now we see that swayam ko manu basically he is setting up an example he is setting up a standard how the king should follow how the king should behave so that the common man will follow it so basically we see that sometimes earlier times the kings are basically are leading by the examples now in the in the scriptures we see maharaj ambarish was there maharaj prithu was there even janak maharaj was there maharaj prithu you know like he was 24 hours he was very very always he was conscious he will be getting up early in the morning go to temple clean uh, do the cleaning of the temple and he will help in archanam he will uh, he will help in deity worship and then uh, he, he will do donation he will do yagya like all kind of he will basically 24 hours a day a day he was basically dedicated his life for the deities now following their four steps we see the example of the kings of puris like the kings of puris uh, kings of dodis are basically whenever any uh, uh, any warfare or anything will be going on they will be getting something new new uh, uh, jewelries or any new uh, new state or anything they are winning they will dedicate this to to king to to uh, to lord of to lord jagannath lord jagannath is basically lord of the universe but still the king of odisha declared them as the first servitor of lord jagannath now here prabhupad uh, in this beautiful uh, purport he is he is discussing about 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 gobind ji's uh, temple in vrindavan that like we all know that uh, in vrindavan basically vrindavan we have gobind ji temple then we have madan mohan temple gopinath temple so many temples are there this particular gobind ji temple we might all have might uh, have visited this temple is very very beautiful so basically raja man singh he was uh, following rupa goswami very closely and he was a disciple of rupnath bhatta goswami so and he was basically a general army in the king of akbar he built this beautiful magnificent temple this temple was the one of the uh, most city temple in the north india during that time now also the architecture also is very beautiful so he dedicated uh, this temple to gobind ji gobind ji is basically the easter dev of a uh, king of jaipur so raja man singh dedicated this temple so it is uh, the spectacular work and everything was is very devotional and it was you know like uh, 
you must see in Vrindavan also till today. Now, due to, you know, like in due course of time, we see that next time in the, as the time passes by, king of, uh, you know, after Akbar, his son, you know, then Aurangzeb comes. When Aurangzeb comes, basically he is going to attack Vrindavan and when, the, that time, you know, like when the king of Jaipur, when he realizes that this is going to happen and my forefathers had built this temple for the honor of Rupa Goswami and Raghunath Bhatta Goswami. So what they did? They decided to get beautiful Gobuji temple from Vrindavan to Jaipur. Now, if we, you, um, uh, some of you might have been to this beautiful Gobuji temple. This is very beautiful. And uh, Jai Singh basically constructed, helped in constructing this temple. And uh, whoever goes to this temple, they say that they are kind of, you know, like feel mesmerized by this beautiful architecture and the beautiful loving face of Gobuji. Now, this temple has a beautiful courtyard. And this courtyard can hold around 5,000 temples, 5, sorry, 5,000 devotees. Now, when Gobindji wakes up, uh, Prabhupada mentioned about how devotees come and assemble in the courtyard of this beautiful temple just to say, take a glimpse of Gobindji. Now, they say that uh, Jai Singh basically dedicated this city and named it as Jaipur. And he declared that Gobindji is the king of Jaipur city. So, till today, the Gobindji temple, Gobindji, Lord Gobindji is basically heart and soul of Jaipur. Now, I know our Radha Temple, the Mataji is from that, that area and she will definitely agree to me and she can, she can feel it definitely in her heart that how early morning, how I have, actually I have never been there. I have a long desire to go there, but uh, early morning I have seen the videos how devotees go there and I have heard and I have seen, uh, um, so seen some recordings how early morning Govindji wake up. They say that the entire city wakes up along with Govindji. Like 500, 600 devotees will come from the villages. So many different pilgrimages from different places of India will come. A nice, nice ahenai, nice music will be there. And with uh, slow kirtan and bhajan, with local, basically traditional bhajans, slowly Govindji wakes up and he gives darshan to everybody. Now, along with Govindji also, taking a lot, uh, along with Govindji also, all the devotees are also very blissful to see Govindji. They say, they, they say that, Deities and devotees, they have a loving reciprocation. Deities are also very happy when the loving devotees they see, and the devotees are also very happy when lovingly they see early morning their beautiful deities. Now, following this, basically, uh, this footsteps, this is a beautiful deity of Radha Govindji. I thought I will just take that, we will just take the darshan early in the morning since we're having this morning class. Now, following these footsteps, like we see that our in our all our Iskon temples, we have, we have basically this Mangalarti uh, concept is there. What is Mangalarti? Mangalarti means Mangal, means all auspiciousness. Like uh, when, when Krishna is there, is everything is auspicious. And the more, in the early morning, you know, it's more, it's, it's even more auspicious. When the Lord is the king of, it is, it's, everything is auspicious. So how to wake up the Lord? We have to learn from these Acharyas and from these saintly kings. The Prabhupada, has uh, this is the beautiful picture I think from 1976 that time, and that time we see how in the early morning in the Iskon temple how all these devotees have gathered and their Mangal Arati is happening. So it's a beautiful um, uh, see to behold. Like when I visited long time back um, Juhu temple, I had also witnessed this beautiful Mangal Arati early in the morning how the deities wake up and with nice soothing kirtan and bhajan they wake up the deities. And similarly, also Prabhupada also advised us in the morning to do Srimad Bhagavata discussion and in the evening to do Bhagavad Gita discussion. Why Prabhupada advised us to do this uh, morning and evening Katha and the morning and evening beautiful bhajan while, uh, while the Lord is uh, going to take rest and while uh, the Lord is looking up. And what are the importance of the rules? Basically, these rules are meant for our own benefit. If we follow the rules, Everything is easy. So rules are basically are to be followed to fulfill our material needs and spiritual connection. We see that if we are driving in India, for a, you should be driving on the one side. Now, if you come to US, you will be driving on the totally opposite side. So if you follow the India rules in USA, then accidents will happen. Then there will be traffic lights are there. If you are not stopping in the traffic light, then the cop will catch you and there will be accident. But there will be a certain necessity, like, you know, like we have to go to school. 
well, yeah, this is the road. I have a car. I can easily go to and reach the school. But if I don't stop in the red light, the cop will come and catch me. I won't reach the school on time. So the rules are there and I have to follow. Now, second example, you can think of that uh, eating is important. Like even if you are eating, honoring prasadam, like it, honoring food, prasadam or eating food is very important to maintain or nourish our body. Now, early morning, a mother, you know what he does? He very lovingly pack the, pack the lunch for the kid and says her, they don't forget to eat your lunch. Please eat at the lunch. So, because otherwise, you cannot survive till 5 o'clock. You will get tired and your body will become weak. Now, the kid will take the lunch bag. And when the teacher is teaching, he will open the lunch bag and he will start eating in the class when the studies are going up. So, what will happen? The teacher will get upset. teacher will get mad. Because that is not a uh, you know, school code or conduct of the court that when the others are reading, the kid is opening the lunch bag and eating. So he will get punished. So instead of what is the rule, there will be a particular lunch break time. Suppose uh, here, if, if your kid's school is going from 9 to 3, there will be a lunch break time from 1 o'clock to 1.30. Your kid has to oh, go to the lunch break area and he, will go, he is going to open his lunch break and eat over there and sharp at 1.30, he is going to come back. If she doesn't know that, then he or she doesn't do that, then there will be consequences which he is going to follow. Now here, Swayabha Manu is teaching us the rules to follow. The rules to follow to stay in the growth of the life and how to stay close to Krishna. Basically, there is no harm in enjoying the growth of the life. But any ashram as we discussed now, any ashram we stay, our goal is to come close to Krishna. So how to come close to Krishna? If 24 hours and 7 days, if we are getting connected with Krishna, then like, you no, know, like, whatever we are doing, honoring prasadam, driving car, you know, in subconscious mind, if Krishna is in the center, either consciously or, un or unconsciously, then we'll so you will surely attend him. So Prabhupada here in this, um, here has advised us to consider Mangalarti early morning, then Japa, then Katha, then beautiful Sanctus Mahaprasadam. So if all these four things are there, then life is all set. Like we see, in scriptures, we see Hiranyakashipu and Ravan. They did austerity, so much austerity they did. Like Hiranyakashipu, I was hearing to one lecture during uh, this Anushinga uh, Chaturvasi festival time. He was standing in one seat and was doing meditation for 10,000 years without eating anything. He is, you know, like skeleton and was kind of visible. So, are we, do at least one, can we stand even one hour in one seat? No, we cannot. So Prabhupada has defined a simple rule for us. Chant and be happy. And uh, in ISKCON also, Prabhupada also has given us two rules. Punctuality and cleanliness. Like any ISKCON temple we go, we, we see the same rules are followed. Like today, if I come to our ISKCON temple or ISKCON Tawako or anywhere I go, same thing. Mangalavati will be there. Cotton opening will be there at 7.30 for Darshan. And then every faith, the books will be in the same place. The prasadam will be in the same place. Everything is same because the standard rules are there so that you will feel familiar and you will feel part of it. It's very difficult sometimes to maintain those rules. But if we maintain these rules, life is become very easy to handle it. So next thing Prabhupada here is mentioning about the spiritual atmosphere created by the Sankirtan movement. Basically, whatever they say, that you know, whatever we hear, that keeps an impression in our mind and heart. So for example, suppose you are watching a horror movie at night and you go to sleep. So night time, like this beautiful ghost will come into mind and haunt you. Sometimes, you know, you get scared at night. Like, you know, sometimes this FIFA World Cup was there or this 2020 series are there. We see so much, you know, like cricket or so much football. So watching those at night, we get agitated. When we go to sleep, early morning when we get up, either by this watching this movie or this iPhone, this YouTube, whatever the videos we're seeing, uh, when we see, we get, when we are going to sleep, basically we, we are not in the peaceful mind. We are in an agitated mind. Cold day, we are working so hard. But night time, when, when we go to sleep, we are agitated. We carry that agitation in our mind till early in the morning. So instead of the Prabhupada theory say, uh, saying, that the beautiful dreams of Krishna past times you can and it can and you can visualize even if you are sleeping also, but that is not possible when we are having this kind of other activities. Now the second thing is when waking up. So why waking up is very important? 
when waking up the when you wake up the kids with a nice love like you know when small when mother is there you waking up the kids very lovingly get up by singing some lullaby or something like that he is very happy when he is waking up other way when you are shouting at the kid get up your time is getting up you know like then it's not the same thing and how this is how we are waking up in the morning like as soon as this this current is in, like they say that information is at the finger you wake up immediately uh, what are you doing we are holding the our phone anybody send me messages any new videos are come any new new news is come is there we immediately see it and we are agitated that ag- agitation basically we carry throughout the whole day so instead maharaj uh, um, like no like emperor manu here he is suggesting he is basically showcasing by role model how to wake up early in the morning by listening to the lord's glories and how while going back to sleep you sleep with lord's glories in our mind and heart so by doing that basically what will happen our consciousness is basically purified and we are in a happy and sober and sublime mood and that mood basically we carry throughout the whole day we don't get agitated we feel happy and we are basically calm so now with this uh, beautiful example of swayam bhumanu our sala prabhupada advised us this early morning beautiful sanghas and the evening sanghas during covid time is this morning and evening sanghas many temples were not possible so utilizing the benefit of this zoom calls and this uh, remote connection this e sanghas are very much came into picture now and we all are taking this beautiful association of the sanghas early in the morning by reading shrimad bhagavatam and releasing it so i am 100% sure that everybody's life definitely has changed whoever are attending here by by witnessing these classes these uh, discussions and like like definitely then we all wait for you know like what are going to be happen in the next class next uh, what are we going to discuss so th- that kind of you know like we think and we meditate behind and beautiful katha when you hear the whole day we also meditate on it and we try to put that in our daily life also so definitely it's a purification process early morning and evening this beautiful bhajan and kirtan or the hari katha so emperor manu is setting up a nice example by staying in the prastha ashram and how to become spiritually conscious with this i would like to end today's discussion sila prabhupad ki jai hari bol hare krishna mandir thank you very much i would like to wish everybody a safe and krishna conscious day ahead and i would like to offer over prayers to the supreme lord by chanting hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna krishna hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare 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 krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare Shri Narsingo, Jai Narsingo, Jai Jai Narsingo, Praladesha, Jaya Padma, Mukha Padma, Vrengam, Ugravina, Mahavishnu, Jashtam, Jantam, Kham, Narsingam, Nishinam, Padama, Jaya Mithya, Mahavishnu, Narsingo Bhagavan, Ki Jai, Pralad Maharaj, Ki Jai, Jai. Let's offer our humble obeisances to all the summer Vaishnavas, Mancha Kalpa, Mancha Kalpa, Durvasya, Kupasana, Vavetya,